So I just got two new cameras. What kind of cameras do you think a guy gets that could have anything he wants? I could have any camera in the world, I can afford it, I've got hundreds of cameras. Did I get the new thousand megapixel whiz bang thingamajig that's on the internet that everybody's talking about? No, I didn't. I don't need to have the biggest giant lenses. Look at my big lens, aren't you impressed? <laughs> if you really, really are well off and you can have anything, something happens where you don't need that anymore. I have in my garage a Lamborghini, a Ferrari, I got some Jaguar, I got a bunch of cars, but you know, I hardly ever drive them anymore. You know what I'm craving now? You know what I miss? You know what I, I, I haven't, I just have these fond feelings for? is a Chevy Chevette, a Ford Pinto, a Vega, and a Bobcat. Remember from the 70s, the Bobcat, which is like the Mercury version? I love those cars. I love little tiny things. I know there's something about the humbleness of them. They're small. They get the job done. They get you from A to B. Now that I can have anything I want, I don't need it anymore. Now I, I have this yearning for smaller, more simple, the simple life in a way. So the cameras I got was, <laughs> you're gonna laugh, whatever. A Panasonic ZS100, just a little pocket camera, and a Lumix LX100. I didn't get the S1 or the S2 or the S3 or the big, any full frame. Everybody's getting a full frame lens. I'm going the other way. I'm going back to Micro Four Thirds. Yes, I'm getting the Sony 7C because it's compact, because it's small. And I always wanted something that's the size of an APS-C camera that can take really good pictures, that has a flip out screen, all that. But I'm getting it because it's small, not because it's full frame or anything like that. But these ones here, the LX100 is this wonderful camera. It's very unique. I guess I'm a collector. I guess you could say I'm a collector because I like every camera for a different reason. Like here's the LX10. I love the LX10. Super sharp, really small, compact. You can literally fit it in your pocket and it's great. And you can manually adjust the f-stop on the front. I really like that. And the uh, LX100 is kind of like, it, it takes, I guess this one takes off where this one leaves off or vice versa. They kind of complement each other. They're each good for different reasons. The lenses are different focal lengths. But I like this. This one's really interesting. The LX100 is really interesting. It's a fixed lens. You can't take the lens off. But this is about as manual as it gets. It's got a dial on the front. You can change the f-stop on there or put it on auto. It's got a dial on top with all the shutter speeds or you can put it on auto. On the back, it has white balance ISO and it has a ring that you can turn to change that. There's another dial in here where you don't want to think you just want to make it lighter or darker you can turn that so you have basically all four major things that you need for taking pictures on the outside in manual control you have the f-stop the shutter speed the iso and the white balance all right there on the outside you don't have to go into a menu and it has some more dials on the outside. You can change the aspect ratio, 4.3, 1.1, 16.9, 3.2 by clicking. I've never seen that on the outside of a camera. That is really cool. And of course the manual focus, auto focus. So everything that you want to do is manually on that side. Now if you want to do aperture priority or shutter priority, you can do that too. You can set everything but the, uh, the aperture and put it on A. You can set everything manually but the shutter speed and put that on A. You can manually set anything you want or be as automatic as you want. And since it has a hot shoe, you can do off-camera flash with big powerful flashes and soft boxes. And here are some pictures taken with the LX100. This is a really interesting camera. And I love this, the retro silver and brown. I love that. I love this color and the shape and the size. And, and it has a viewfinder. It has an awesome viewfinder, which I love. Any, I need viewfinders for what I do. And that's why another reason I got the ZS100. This is a pocket camera like the um, 
LX10, but the LX10 doesn't have a viewfinder. This one does. And this is just, I love the colors. Look at this. It's got like this cool brushed silver and just a little corner with a red line. It's got a darker gray with a cool texture. I just love texture. I love color and it has a viewfinder. And here's some pictures taken with the ZS100. all made with the little ZS100. The reason I like the LX10 is it has a flip-up screen, so you can do selfies. It has a really, really sharp lens. All the Lumix lenses are Leica lenses, which is really sharp. You can manually set the f-stop and then not worry about that anymore. Each one of these cameras I love for a different reason, but look, I've got, I've got all three of them in one hand here. And that's what I love. I love to travel. I like to go around the world and not carry heavy equipment. Plus, you don't want people to be nervous or uncomfortable when you're around them with a the camera. I'm actually not a professional photographer. I, I don't get paid to take pictures for other people. People don't hire me to take pictures. I do this because I love it. It's a hobby. It's just a hobby of mine. It's like some people collect sports cars. I guess I do that too, but I collect cameras. I love. Oh, and there's this little flash that comes with this this uh, LX100. This is so cool. Look at this little tiny flash. It just clicks on top. You can still change how powerful the flash is in the menu. Plus three, minus three, whatever. Just a little on off button on the back. So here's a full package. I, you can take this to a restaurant or somewhere and have a flash and light up your subject. I like to see how far I can push small, lightweight, cheap consumer stuff and do professional quality stuff with them. If, you, if you're a good photographer, you can do that. You can take great pictures with anything. You don't need to have the latest, most expensive, all the bells and whistles camera. As long as you can change the f-stop and the shutter speed, the ISO and the white balance, almost any camera in the world does that. You can take great pictures. I took pictures with a camera that has no lens. I mean, come on, I mean, you could do Photography is art. It's art and it should give you pleasure and that's what it's about. It's not being like feeling depressed because you can't afford the latest biggest camera. I don't buy the latest biggest cameras. I don't want them. I don't need them. I like little things like this. I can take great pictures with little things like this and the more that I am able to do that, the better I feel about myself. I don't know. There's something about having really big expensive stuff and if you do something good with it, you're like, eh. So I did that. Okay, so what? I mean, there's no challenge. Like, there's no, uh, you don't feel proud of yourself. You don't feel like you accomplished something. You get the something that does everything for you, and then it takes a great picture, and you go, like, you're not really, you don't feel like you did it, you know? I don't know. I'm rambling here. I just wanted to say how much I love the little cameras, and that's what I've been buying lately is the little things. I guess I've, I mean, I've been buying little things for a long time, but. Now that I can, I'm repeating myself, right? Yeah. So anyway, I just thought I'd say that. I mean, um, yeah, it's funny how you get to a point in life where like how much is enough, you know? I know I got all this stuff. I know I have, I acquire a lot of stuff, but that's just me going through things because I can because I can to see what the experience is like. And then whatever I don't use, I give it away. So as you know, I do that. It's not like I'm holding on to everything. I it just goes just keep it going. Keep the keep the joy going. If somebody broke in and stole everything I had, and all I ended up with was all I had was one of these, I'd be fine with that. I mean, I could live with it. I'd, I'd be happy. I mean, as I'm thankful for anything that allows me to capture memories and do some art. Because that's what this is, this is art. So I hope I 
make you feel better about some things in life. Like you don't need the big expensive things. You don't need to always buy the latest, greatest stuff. Just be good with what you have. Just make the best with what you have and be thankful that you're even able to do that. So that's it. Nothing super special. But you know what? For me, this is super special. Okay. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.